welcome back to Get Your Life. Happy Autism Awareness Month. Happy Autism Awareness Month. In today's video, I'm going to keep it short and simple. I just wanted to touch basically on the diet for someone who has autism. So what you'll need to do specifically is focus on, I would say, a high protein diet with lots of fruits and vegetables, right? You want to do a gluten-free diet. It's very important that adults and children with autism do not eat anything with gluten in it. Anything with dairy in it. These things can inflame the brain and they also inflame the the gut. So we want to try to keep the brain and the gut as healthy as possible. So that is why it's so important to eat a healthy, balanced diet with fruits and vegetables, especially vegetables, cruciferous vegetables, such as your broccolis, um, your, your dark leafy green vegetables, your kale, and broccoli has a compound in it called sulforaphane, sulforaphane I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, sulforaphane, and it releases chemicals that help the body detox and de-stress. So an individual who has autism is already um, dealing with um, a brain that's highly inflamed, right? Inflammation. Um, they don't have very high antioxidants. Your body makes antioxidants naturally, and those are the things, those are the um, the uh, entities that fight off cancers and other diseases. Antioxidants are also found in blueberries. So you wanna have, blueberries are really great. They're awesome. They're great for the brain. They're great for the, um, the I know they have sugar in them, but they're great for the brain, and they're great um, for the, um, the biome as well. Blueberries have a myriad of, of, of benefits, but definitely they're great for the brain. Um, they have uh, vitamins, packed with vitamins in them. And again, going back to the broccoli, the broccoli releases chemical compounds that reduce oxidative stress. Um, people who have Alzheimer's and dementia suffer from oxidative stress. Any stress in the brain will cause brain inflammation as well as diseases of the brain. So you want to eat foods that will reduce the brain inflammation. Um, also, um, many people who have autism suffer from low glu 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 Oh, I'm, I'm messing the word all up. I'm going to put it in the description box, but glutathione, sorry, glutathione and glutathione is another, um, antioxidant that, um, it is necessary to um, avoid, and it, it's necessary to to kill certain symptoms that cause HIV, SARS, hepatitis B. It is necessary to reduce the stress on the body and the immune system as well as the brain. And when you eat broccoli, your broccoli will help to lower these occurrences. So I would say a diet high in broccoli, high in cruciferous vegetables, high in proteins, even eggs. If your child can eat eggs, eat eggs. Um, the proteins are great. The, the fruits are amazing. No dairy. I like to do the almond breeze because it doesn't have uh, of course, it's no milk, excuse me, no dairy in it, but um, I use my Yuka app and I see that it is not hard on the kidneys. Some of these, these milks, these um, non-milks, they have chemicals in them that are hard, like phosphate, that are hard on the kidneys and the liver. But phosphate is actually something our body naturally makes, but when you have too much of it, it will damage the kidneys and the organs. So we always have to watch out even for the good things because too much of a good thing can be bad for you. And then last but not least, I'm gonna talk about this in another video. I just got this in the mail today, thanks to Autism Hope Alliance. Um, I signed up, if you go to their website, 
Autism Hope Alliance. I'll drop the link in the description below or in this video. Um, Aspire Nutrition. I'm going to try this first and then I'm going to let my son try it. You know, there's always always supplements out there but let me sh let me let me check this out and i will come back and do a review on here but i'm just looking at it it says a multivitamin you can't go wrong with multivitamins our kids need all the nutrition and all of the support that they can get here's another one that autism hope alliance um their sample list i signed up for and they sent me these samples it's a mitochondrial support blend and the mitochondrial is is i believe it's responsible for cellular cleansing um, anybody who does not sleep well or, um, uh, detox well, you will have a buildup of, um, toxins in the brain and in the cells. And that is what contributes to the behaviors that we see with autism. So it is just a domino effect of various things that we have to be cognizant of and watch out for when we are feeding our babies as well as, um, um, nurturing them. So, um, that's all I'm going to do for this video today. I just wanted to touch on the broccoli. Get broccoli. If your kid cannot eat broccoli, there's other ways to um, have them eat broccoli. The best way to have broccoli, consume it, is raw. Because um, when you eat the broccoli, it releases chemicals. Again, you have your, your salt, excuse me, your sulf, sulforaphane, excuse me, and those are natural, excuse me, necessary for reducing the oxidative stress and even even if you don't have aux, autism broccoli is amazing for fighting off cancers diabetes lowering blood pr blood pressure um and helping you detox there's so many benefits to broccoli so um i just want to touch on that happy autism awareness month and i'm coming back to do another video and discuss more for this month